Claudio Martini at Resistance Training. Okay, today's gonna to be a very short video. It's been a busy week finishing up a bunch of projects around here. So today it's gonna to be BMI, Body Mass Index. It's a calculation that they've been using for a number of years. And whenever you go to a doctor or you visit a clinic or emergency room, they always kind of take your height and your weight. This gives the doctor basically your mass or body mass index. And it's a lot, a lot of people would say that this is a little bit of an outdated uh, measurement because they say, well, you could be carrying a lot of muscle. So it, it, uh, that, those, that reading is incorrect for people that are bigger boned or muscles. But I wanna just say this, I still go by BMI. I think if you're in the in the normal range of your BMI, you're doing much better than if you're above it, even if you do have muscle, because even if you're carrying a lot of muscle, it's still, everything has to work harder to pump the uh, blood and get the oxygen and everything going through your body, even though you are more muscle than less fat. Now, here's what I wanna say on bulking and cutting. I don't believe in bulking and cutting. I believe that you should stay as lean as you possibly can and try to make the best gains at your maintenance level or even dropping down from time to time. I just think overall, if you're, especially if you're an older person like, like myself, you know, I'm 68, it's just better to keep your weight in normal range. Okay, now I did experiment a while back with a little bit of a bulk. I w was weighing in around 160, 162, right around in there, hovering there. I went up to about 174 pounds. Put on a little muscle, got pretty strong, but I cut it off around 172, 173-ish. I said enough's enough, so I came back down. It's been about a month now. I'm down to about 162. I was losing about a pound a week. So if it's done in that manner, you're okay because losing eight to nine, 10 pounds is pretty relatively easy to go back and forth. But if you go on a bulk and you put on 30 to 40 pounds, you know, not all of it's gonna be muscle. You're gonna have a majority of it being actual fat. So in the long run, that's just not gonna be good for you. And here's something that people don't really understand when you start putting on a lot of weight especially if it's a majority of fat weight on a bulk. Here's what happens. When you gain body fat, okay, even if you're putting on muscle, your hormonal profile is going to change, okay? Your testosterone is going to decrease. Your insulin is going to go into the tank. You're going to be, you're not, you're going to lose your insulin sensitivity. You're going to be insulin resistant as you put on more body fat. And it's just not good overall hormonally, especially if you're older, because it's going to affect on how much muscle you put on. Believe me, I've experimented. Okay, so I've been on a cut for the last month. I'm back down to around 162, and I'm going to continue. My goal for the next three months is to get down as lean, probably the leanest I've been in about 20 years when I was doing my karate. Back in the, my karate days, uh, when I was in my 30s, I was I, I was probably shredded. I was probably I would say eight to ten, eight anywhere from six to eight percent body fat. Uh, we used to clown around. I could take a quarter, a quarter, and stick it in my my uh, my six pack. I could hold it in there. That's how lean I was. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to get back to that point, and I'm gonna be keeping you informed because at this point in my life, I'm 68 years old. I'm on no type of hormone replacement, TRT. I'm on no types of drugs. So my goal, basically, you have to think realistically, how much muscle can I possibly put on? I'm not 30 years old. So what I got to concentrate now on is to get as lean as possible, stay as hard, rock hard as possible. I mean, be solid and keep the muscle that I've already have. So, I mean, I don't have a six pack, but I'm gonna work on it. We're gonna get the, all the, the, everything's gonna be tight and, and gone once we 
start, uh, I've been manipulating calories here and I think I found the exact perfect, I'm right around, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, I'm right around 1550 to 1650 calories per day and it's working out really well. And believe it or not, I haven't lost any strength. I'm still doing the lifts that I was doing at 172 and I feel strong. So that's a good sign. That means that you're preserving and keeping the muscle. And I'm keeping my protein up. Protein is gonna be about 60% of my calories. I'm keeping protein very high. I'm keeping my, my fats very low and carbohydrates. I'm doing 60% uh, protein, okay? I'm doing 20% carbs and 20% fat. Now that I can change the carb ratio, you know, uh, play around, I'm gonna manipulate it, see how I feel, but that's where I'm at right now. So the whole point of this video is I wanna get across to you, stay as lean as you possibly can while maintaining as much muscle as you possibly can, because in the long run, health-wise, it's gonna be better, it's gonna be better all around for you to just stay as lean as you possibly can. You're gonna look better, you're gonna look better naked, and you're just gonna feel more confidence about yourself. Believe me, anyone can put on 25, 30 pounds of bulk. Sure, you look good with clothes on, but when it comes time to take your, your clothes off, it's just you're gonna look like shit, and it's not gonna look good, okay? I mean, yeah, you'll look impressive with a, a shirt on, and you'll, you're certainly gonna be stronger, but in the long run, health-wise, remember, my channel's all about maintaining good health and into your old age. All right, that's all I got to say. Please subscribe to this channel, and we'll talk to you soon.